Hello world, good morning, good afternoon, good evening. Welcome to CodingScientist.com, one of a kind, unique zero to hero series on ESP32 and ESP32 camera module. All right, guys, we are almost ready. This is the final step for setting up and configuring your ESP32 module, the development board, before even we start and go ahead and do the programming, right? So in this lesson, we are going to actually burn the firmware, the MicroPython firmware. So we have done a lot of pre-request uh, setup in the previous five, six lessons, right? All the way from ESP tool to erasing the flash memory and stuff like that. So many lessons. So I hope you guys are ready with all those things and completely prepared. So in this lesson, we will actually load the firmware the micro python firmware into esp32 development board and we are done with that so guys there is a reason actually why i had been building this small short lessons right i could have covered the entire setup process in one single video for about an hour or maybe one and a half hours but you know the reason is i broke it down into multiple sub lessons sub sections so that it's very clear for the beginners for the newcomers to understand step by step systematically that's the reason i broke it down into multiple lessons and i made multiple videos so that you get pretty much hands-on practically getting exposed to everything what you are doing all right enough of this guys now let's let's see what we need to be doing so this is the pin configuration. We have gone through that. Let's take a look. So just give me a minute. I am going to set up my system and we will take it forward from there. All right. So I, I hope you guys are uh, ready with, uh, you know, uh, the ESP32 bin file, which I showed you how to download from where to download in the previous lesson. You have downloaded that form firmware and put it in your downloads directory in your Windows machine. That is your downloads folder. So I hope it is there in the right spot. In case if you shifted that to a different folder, you need to remember that path, right? So, but always I suggest whatever the softwares or any, uh, any kind of uh, applications you are downloading, it has to be in the download folder. That is the best practice, always recommended. So let's open up the terminal window. Let's do one thing. I'm going to share my screen and then we will take it forward from there. Give me a minute. I hope you guys can see it. All right. What is this box opening up? Okay. Now let's let's go to command uh, prompt. CMD. Okay. Once you open up this box, what you need to do is let me uh, i think i need to look for the command what where was it let me just check it up guys i think it was in my systems folder it's a long lengthy command we need to execute basically so what we need to do all right let's let's do one thing let's go to this terminal and let's look at where we downloaded so let's go to cd downloads download so this is the file this is the path where i downloaded and it is now in download section now what we need to do we need to see we need to list all the files inside your download folder what what kind of stuff has been stored in there we need to find the dot bin file which we downloaded so type dir and hit enter now if you hit enter there are multiple files which is showing up right so there are ton loads of things now this is the one where which i save esp minus two zero two one zero six five 
minus unstable so this is the entire file which we the dot bin file which we downloaded this is the firmware basically right now let's look at l let's execute a command call ls to list it out so basically you know that that's fine that's not required we already have the list any which ways we have the list of items <coughs> in the download folder so most important thing is this one okay now since that we have already that now we need you can also see the uh, uh, next this particular screenshot that esp32.bin file is basically you know we need to make sure it is actually located in your download folder and that we are able to confirm it right now how do we flash this into our esp32 so that's what we need to look at it so let me pull out that command which i have give me a second okay now what we need to do let me just pull that out where is it it's in my word document okay this is the one so this is a pretty lengthy command guys so i am going to leave this in the description below below this video so you can take a look at it you can copy it but you know you need to understand what exactly it is now com12 you don't have to type com12 this will change this will depend upon your system this com12 is my com12 right and same way this particular path esp32 how did i get it so what you need to do go to downloads if you type downloads where is the downloads file folder arduino cc downloads if you go to downloads here this is where i have saved it right this is where i downloaded the micro python firmware file so what you need to do right click rename it and copy this entire thing okay do not delete even a single word or single word or a full stop single letter or a full stop do not do that just right click copy it okay then click here let it be as it is in the original so this is the way you pick up that particular path and after that this is where you are going to replace okay this is the exact thing now let's copy this entire command okay let's copy this and open the terminal in the downloads you need to be in the download section only you need to be in this downloads in the command terminal uh, you need to be in the downloads directory make sure that you are in the right path because if you if you are in a different path if you are in a say home directory and you execute this command this will not pick up your bin file it's not going to happen so you need to be in the right path now right click why the right click is not working for some reason this is kind of weird okay man it's difficult to type the whole command but let me just copy it again copy there you go perfect so you have to press the right click on your mouse and it will automatically copy and paste now once you paste this command the most important thing guys do not hit enter you need to hold this boot cell again you need to hold this boot button hold this tight can you see it here you need to hold it tight press it and then hit enter there you go it's taking time so it's it's almost 5% can you see it 10% do not remove your finger guys it has to be on your it has to be pressed kept pressed flash will be erased can you see the compressed stub running running stub uploading stub okay let's let's hope 100% is done pretty quick and successfully till you see the end line successfully done do not lift your finger from the boot cell button you need to hold it you need to hold it tight it's 45 47 49 50% run 
There you go, guys. It's getting excited. You are loading the micro Python firmware into ESP32. Finally, finally. 66, 67. It's writing, it's writing, it's still writing. Can you see that on the terminal? Guys, if you if you follow this systematically, it's you know you won't face any issue. You just follow my lessons very clearly. It's it's gonna be you know rock solid. You are gonna be a rock star pretty soon. Just follow this instruction systematically one by one. You can pause the video, type it again, follow that, pause the video. Compressed. All right, guys. Let's see now. Wrote what it says. Wrote about x bytes. Hash of data verified. Leaving hard resetting via RTS pin. Now I am going to take out my finger. Perfect. All right. So now we are ready, guys. Fantastic. We are ready with our Micro Python firmware in ESP32. The your ESP32 development board is absolutely ready with Micro Python. Now. The only pain point is you can directly plug into your Arduino IDE and select the COM port and write some C program and load it into this. It's pretty easy. But when you are switching over from Arduino from C program to MicroPython, you have to follow this step again. Once again, you have to load the firmware and then you need to start open Thani IDE and write your codes and load it. Anyways, that's a part of the game, but it's going to get interesting, right? So I'm going to be back soon in the next video. I'll show you, let us, you know, we, we, we will start building some projects and stuff like that. This lesson is the end of setting up the configuration and making sure that your ESP32 is perfectly set right for micro Python coding and Arduino coding, C, C++ coding using Arduino IDE. Do follow along, do keep your ESP32 ready with the firmware flashed in first you need to erase then flash it and all those lessons just go ahead and follow. Keep it ready because the next lesson onwards we will start interacting with the ESP32 board using the micro python coding and start you know adding some sensors and stuff like that and start building projects. Alright guys see you soon goodbye.